Such feats are easy when you learn to focus their energies through the light of Selune. Thank you for asking. My name is Rasat. I am merely demonstrating some of the ways in which we Sun Soul monks reflect our spiritual light through physical activity. May I tell you more about the Order of the Sun Soul? The Order of the Sun Soul was founded during the time of... Hey, what are you supposed to be then? Some sort of kick puncher? Come on, take a poke at me, I dare you. I have come not to fight, but to demonstrate a few... Oh, so that's how it is, eh? You prance about, pretending to be some sort of hard man, but you're just a coward, right? I am not afraid to defend myself, but I do not seek out conflict without purpose. Instead, I wish to share the light of the Moon Maiden. Oh, I get it. You're some kind of simpering priest, just pretending you knows how to fight, but really just begging for coins, yeah? A Sun Soul monk uses mind, body and spirit in equal portions, but not to prove his martial superiority. Rather, he seeks to better the lives of those around him. Yeah, yeah, save it for temple school, boy. If you're not gonna fight nobody, I won't waste any more time on you. I thank you. It is not always easy. In truth, I enjoy a good fight if it is to improve my skills or to defend a just cause. Fighting that man would have enlightened no one. You seem like someone who would appreciate the tenets of my order. May I tell you more about Salune and the Sun Soul monks? Of the inheritors of Amonito's power, Salune is the most ardent foe of spiritual darkness. After all, she is the bright opposite of Shah, the mistress of the night. The Moon Maiden's reflected radiance inspires us to shine our inner light upon those in need. In the face of lies, we offer truth. In the face of hatred, we offer compassion. What more would you like to know? The Order of the Sun Soul was founded in the days of ancient Netheril. Then it was called the Brotherhood of the Sun, and its members dedicated themselves to the Sun God, Amonitor. With the fall of Netheril, Amonitor vanished. Some believe his power now resides in other gods. Different factions of my order turn to them, most to Lathander, some to Selune, and a very few to Suni. My sect of the order reveres Sulune, the Moon Maiden, I beg to differ, lady. Since you are drow, I can understand why you cling to the shadows. Yet perhaps you can still find your way into the light. I do not think we shall soon agree on this point, but I welcome your efforts to test my faith. You will find it strong. I have had trouble making ends meet since coming to Nashkel. If doing so gives me the chance to help others find their inner light, I will be glad to join you. You appear troubled. Does a shadow lie upon your soul? It seems so long ago that I first joined the Order. Thinking of those days revives fond memories, even as it reminds me of those precious things I have lost. My mother gave up her own life to give life to me. Without her help, my father struggled to raise me and my older brother Gamaz. Life in Calumport is hard for those not born to wealth and privilege. When he could no longer pay his rising debts, my father was condemned to the Arena of Freedom, where he fought and died for the entertainment of the people. His death left Gamaz and me to scratch out a life upon the streets. We helped each other as best we could, begging, serving, and yes, sometimes stealing. One day, Gamaz was caught with his hand upon the purse of a Sun Soul monk. Rather than punish us, the monk brought us to the monastery, where we were bathed, fed, and clothed as initiates. From that day forward, we learned the mysteries of Selune and trained our bodies, minds, and spirits to spread her light to others. Indeed, Selune blessed Gamaz and me the day we met that monk. From that day forward, the light of the goddess brightened our existence. How may I enlighten you? Well, divided by distance and allegiance to three different gods, the various sects of the Order of the Sun Soul cooperate across Faroon. When the sect in Athkatla ceased responding to messages, my masters in Kalimport sent ten monks to investigate. Gamaz and I were among those chosen to set sail for Arn. We found the monastery abandoned. The nearby residents we questioned about the mystery changed the subject or fled. For weeks, we continued to investigate. At last, through stealth, subterfuge and patience, we began to overhear rumors that agents of Shah, the mistress of the night, had murdered all the Sun Soul monks in Athkatla. 
The local residents feared Shah too much to speak with us. But again and again, we overheard one name uttered in fearful whispers. Alogoth. Who he is, what he did to the monks in Athkatla, or where he has gone, I cannot say. The trail is lost, unless I stumble across the name Alogoth again one day. Do you seek enlightenment? After discovering our fellow Sun Soul monks had vanished from their monastery, we felt the truth must lie behind the name Alogoth. We spread out in pairs to investigate further. Gamaz and I, used to life on Kalamport streets, searched for rumors on the streets of Akatla. Much of our investigation took place at night, under the benign gaze of Selune. You see, although the sun shines more brightly, it is the moon that reveals the truths hidden in darkness. One night, we witnessed several shadowy figures assaulting a lone man on the street. We raced to his defense. The moon maiden blessed us and we drove off his attackers. Despite our intervention, the man was gravely wounded. I remained with him, tending his wounds as best I could while calling for help. Gamaz, however, pursued the attackers. I shouted to him to come back, but he did not listen. Sometimes I wonder whether things would have been different if I had followed Gamaz instead of remaining with the wounded man. I suppose it might have been worse had I gone with him. Still, I wish that night I could have been two men. One to remain with the injured man, another to go with my brother. When help finally arrived, I ran after Gamaz. I found him only a few streets away. My brother had fought bravely, slaying three of his attackers before he was brought down. Once more, I cried out for help. Men came soon, but not to aid me. Instead, they arrested me for fighting in the streets, leaving Gamaz to die in a pool of his own blood. When the guards released me the following day, Gamaz had died. They said he had been slain by shadow thieves. The guards could not even give me his body, for they had burned it with those of the other dead men. Thank you for your kindness. Disheartened by the tragedy, my fellow monks returned to Kalamport. Gamaz and I had entered the monastery together as brothers. I could not return without him. Neither could I remain in Athkatla, a city that forever holds evil memories for me. I traveled north. At first I thought I might visit the Monastery of the Sun in Waterdeep, which they called the City of Splendors. Yet I was in no hurry to arrive. Every day since entering the Order of the Sun's Soul, I had striven to fill my heart with radiance that I may share it with others. After Gamaz's death, I felt only the shadows of grief and despair. But perhaps I have dwelt too long on such memories. I wish to share my inner light with you not my inner darkness. What else can I tell you? My training at the Sun Soul Monastery began the moment the kindly monk brought Gamaz and me inside its walls. As you might imagine, there was a great deal of physical training. At first we were assigned chores and exercises. We looked with envy upon the older initiates who practiced combat techniques while we swept the stones and prepared meals for our seniors. The monks taught us to read and write, and why it is important to do both with careful thought. We practiced debate, studied history, and answered endless quizzes about the 9,000 mysteries of Salune. We learned to meditate upon the moon, the shards, and the stars. We also learned to meditate on the darkness between them, for it falls to us to battle the servants of Salune's dark sister, Shah. At last we learned to combine our learning, devotion, and physical prowess to project our inner light outward. With it, we combat the darkness inside or surrounding others. We all strove hard, but Gamaz was the best among us. None of the other monks could defeat him in combat. Only I could come close, but each time victory was within my grasp, he swept it away with some spectacular strike. Even among the elder students, Gamaz stood as a pillar of tradition and excellence. His death is a great loss, not only to me as his brother, but also to the entire order of the Sun Soul. I thought it best that you should know my past, since we traveled together. There he is, just as Sorum described, a slave of the Hated One. Slay the Sun Soul and those who stand with him. Be careful, friend. Some of these people are the same who attacked Gamaz and me in her Catla. The strikes, the sinuous manner in which they dodged, those who attacked Gamaz and me in Atkatla were not shadow thieves. They were dark moon monks. 
They must have tracked me here. One of the cult's principal goals is the eradication of the Sun Soul monks and all worshippers of Salude. They will not rest until their dark purposes eclipse our efforts. We must stop them. Who do you think you are busting in on me like this? Dark Moon? I don't know what you're talking about. While I abhor unnecessary violence, perhaps I can make an exception in this case. All right, all right. No need to get rough with me. I'm not the one you want. As it turns out, I do have a line on a group of Shah worshippers in the city. You leave me alone, I'll tell you where to find them. You make a good point. I'll tell you what I know. There's a cult that calls itself the Dark Moon. They've been in Baldur's Gate for less than a year, but they're always looking for new recruits. They're pretty rough characters, so yeah, when they asked me about your buddy Rasad, I told them what I knew. A while back, I saw him in Nashville. And then I spotted him again here in Baldur's Gate. They have a safe house over in the Seven Sons building. I can show you the way if you meet me there tonight. What do you want? They worship Shah, the mistress of the night. When else do you think they get together? You gotta see it from my perspective. You look pretty tough. Gotta be sure you don't decide to hurt me after I tell you what you wanna know. I don't gamble with my own skin. Terrific. I'll meet you there. All right. Here's the place, just like I promised. Since you've been so good about not killing me, I brought you a present. The key to this building. In fact, tonight's all about my bringing presents for my best pals. Hey boys, you were those friends I told you about. Come on out and say hello. You have done well, Sorum. Your admission to the Order is now assured. I suppose I'll have this one to thank. Be sure to give him some special gratitude. I thought I was in when I found your sun soul, pal. But you screwed it up. Consider this your way of making it up to me. Let us journey to these cloud peaks and face the Dark Moon cult. Alone, I could never defeat them. But together, we have a chance to put an end to their murderous campaign. While I will never forget Gamoz's death, my desire is not for revenge. I wish only to stop the Dark Moon from claiming more victims. What do you say, my friend? Shall we pursue these assassins to their den? Your words give me courage, my friend. I thank you. The worthy, who have already begun their training in the temple above. And then there are you worthless wretches, the feeble, infirm, foolish, and disobedient. Mercy, Master! We came only to serve Shah! Silence, worm! You could not even cross the Nightingale floor without waking the guard. The Mistress of the Night has weighed your shadow and deemed you unworthy. It isn't fair! The trials were too hard! So says the most craven of the applicants. You lack the courage even to attempt escape like the others. Your cowardice sickens me. They shall not remain free for long. After we have dispensed with you, we will scour the peaks. They will wish the Ice Trolls had found them first. See how the servants of Shah treat their acolytes? They even prey on their own. Look, my brothers! Intruders! Slay them in the name of Shah! You saved our lives, stranger. How can we repay you? You are a true hero. May the light of Salune ever guide your path. Thank you! You've given me a second chance, and I won't waste it worshipping that Whisperer in the darkness. The trials have eliminated the weak and the foolish, the clumsy and the craven. The winnowing leaves only you, the worthiest applicants for Shah's dark favor. Today, you enter her umbra, bearing not just your body and mind, but also your soul to the mistress of the night. As you train in the darkest mysteries, you too will hear the whispers of the goddess. Believe me, her words bring no comfort. Shah does not coddle the infirm or insubordinate. But to the worthy who obeys, she grants strength and power. Far more power than that wielded by our hated foes, the servants of the moon. What? Who dares intrude on our sanctuary? Can it be? He is talking to me. 
Gamoz! My brother! How is it you still live? Frasad? Why have you come here after leaving me to die in the streets of Akatla? I did not wish to leave you, brother. The city guards arrested me. They told me you were dead, slain by the shadow thieves. I see that you have learned to lie, Frasad. Perhaps you too are ready to hear the whispers of Shar. I will share them with you, just as Alargoth shared them with me. Alargoth found me on that street where you left me, Rasad. Rather than leave me to die, he took me into his shadow, but not to coddle me. Instead, he showed me the cold, hard truth of our existence. He showed me how I had grown weak under the tutelage of the Sun Soul monks. He showed me how my own brother had made me weaker still. Only power stands between us and destruction. Had I been strong enough to destroy my foes, I would have needed no help. Now the Shadow Weave grants me the strength my body lacked. In the Umbra of Shar, I stand alone, with no need of help from others. You have been misled, Gamaz. There is no truth in Shah, only lies. What this Alogoth calls power is only a trap to turn you away from the light. Do not turn away from me, Gamaz. You cannot kill me. I am your brother. That is true. I cannot kill my brother. Applicants, kill my brother. Gamaz, listen to me. Shah has seduced you with lies. The power she offers is only the power of destruction. You know this to be true. It was the Sun Soul monks who lied to us. But Alargoth opened my eyes to the truth that lies in darkness. Now that I have opened myself to the Shadow Weave, my powers have grown far beyond those we learned in Kalimport. How have you forgotten all of our lessons? Dark sorcery can only destroy, not preserve. The promises of Shar are as empty as the void of her heart. All promises are empty, Rasad, and Shar offers none. She only demands our obedience. In return, she grants us the power to exert her will throughout the land. You do not need such power, Gamaz. In the Order of the Sun Soul, you were always the strongest among us. You lie again! Do you really believe I never noticed how you held back when sparring against me? Say it now, before your new friends. Deny that you pretended to lose to me in every contest. I... I... I cannot lie to you, Gamas. During our training, sometimes I did withhold my full strength. Winning always seemed more important to you than it felt to me. Somehow, I always knew. Only now, when I have freed myself from the bonds of light, can you finally speak the truth to me. But now, it is too late. Unless, strike down your new companions and bow before me. Prove yourself worthy, and I shall admit you into the shadow. I have no desire for power that serves only its wielder. I reject the lies of Shah Gamaz. I beg you to do the same. I embrace the night and all the power Shah offers. Destroy them, minions. Beloved brother, when we were boys, you only pretended to look up to me. Since that day, the Sun Monk caught me stealing. You have only looked down on me. No. I knew you did it as much for me as for yourself. I understood that you... You understood nothing. I was the elder. After father's death, it fell to me to be the strong one. But even in that, you mocked me, holding back whenever we competed at the temple. But that was before Alargoth introduced me to the Shadow Weave. The path to darkness is almost the same as the one taught to us as children. No, I do not believe it. You have been deceived, my brother. Turn away from the Umbra's false promises before it is too late. The shadow of Shar is far more potent than the light 
of her pale sister. Now I call upon the power of sorcery, as well as the skills we learned together. Even with these new friends at your side, you cannot hope to defeat me. Minions, slay my br- No, Gamas. No more hiding behind your minions. If you wish me dead, you must face me yourself. I have no brother. You are alone, Rasad. Alone for these last living moments. Minions, deal with these others while I destroy this sun soul fool. Gamas. I am sorry, brother. But as the silver moon waxes and wanes, so too does life. I take some solace in the fact that I die at your hand. Thank you. Nor this time I thought my brother was dead. What misfortune brought us together again only to prove he was lost to me. The full moon shines brighter because we have longed for its light in the dark. Thank you for reminding me of the solace found in the teachings of Salune. Forgive me, my friend. I thought my brother dead and never imagined he had joined the Dark Moon cult. I cannot imagine what force persuaded Gamaz to turn his back on the light of Salune and embrace the void of Shah. It is possible, but Gamaz always excelled at the monastery. Among all the students, he was always the best. Except, even when we lived in the gutters of Kalimport and stole bread to survive, Gamaz was my hero. When he tried to steal that monk's purse and was caught, I thought he had caused a miracle allowing us to live in the monastery. Once we began training with the monks, I saw how disappointed Gamaz looked whenever another student exceeded him at an exercise. But Gamaz was very quick to learn. Soon no one could exceed him. Except... We were always closely matched. Winning mattered little to me, but to Gamaz it meant everything. Whenever the temple masters pitted us against each other, I did my best. Up to a point. Thank you for putting my failure in such a kind light, my friend. I shall endeavor to learn from my mistake. <laughs>